Okay, guys, once again, I welcome you to my lesson for today, where we'll be looking at physical sciences. So in today's lesson, we'll be looking at a chapter called a mechanics. That's where we're dealing with forces and um, Newton's law. So guys, thanks very much for joining today's lesson. I hope it will be beneficial to you. And again, in case if we've got great tense in the lesson, um, you're still welcome, even though this lesson is dedicated to grade 11s and grade 12 learners. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we are starting this chapter in today's really lesson, I just want to make you aware of everything that you must know or understand by the end of this lesson. Someone has got their mics unmuted, which is a challenge that I always have. Oscar, uh, I'm going to mute um, their mic from my side. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I was explaining to you is that... Um, this is what I want to make sure that by the end of this, not necessarily this lesson, but by the end of this chapter, you should be having a better understanding of the following. So this is where you can take out something to write and note down this information. So remember, guys, let's consider this to be a, our unit number one for physical sciences where we are looking at mechanics. So um, uh, under me mechanics, we'll be looking at forces and... Oscar, can um, you please uh, move? Because we don't hear the teacher. We don't hear the truth. Uh, Guys, are you now able to hear me when I speak? So remember, guys, in case if there's someone who's got their mics unmuted, don't worry that much. Uh, I'm going to mute it from my side. So I understand you might find that uh, what I'm speaking now, it might be delivered to some of you guys after a few seconds. So don't worry that much. In case if there's someone who's got their mics um uh, unmuted, I'm going to manually mute them from my side. Otherwise, if it persists and is, is, is the same learner over and over again, I'll just make sure to inbox them and train them on how to uh, mute their mics always when they join the lesson. So number one, uh, we'll do a bit of revision on uh, vectors. So remember, guys, you don't necessarily need to write letter to letter or word to word. Just um quickly write whatever that you can so i just want to take you through um what you must be you know what you must be aware of by the end of this unit one so obviously in today's lesson we won't cover everything but i just want to make you aware of all the necessary information that you should be aware of i'm going to go deep with that information as we solve exam related questions because that's what i'm mostly interested in but before i even go deep guys um this chapter it's not really that much um difficult trust me on this one this chapter is allocated a lot of marks it's always there and again it's not that much complicated or difficult i'm going to make sure that as we solve exam question papers uh, you understand everything. The only favor that you can do for me and yourself is to make sure that you don't miss any of these lessons. Otherwise, if you do, make sure that you catch up because this lesson is being recorded. So the next thing that I want you to fully understand, ladies and gentlemen, is to answer this question of um, what is a force? So only if you can understand that part I'm telling you, you will be very, very far, ladies and gentlemen. The other thing that you should be aware of is different types of forces, different types of um, forces. So 
that is also something that you need to be aware of. I'm hoping in today's lesson, if we'll still be having enough time, we can get up to this point where we identify and explain all different types of forces. And again, ladies and gentlemen, as we go deeper with our lesson, uh, I would like to teach you more about a force diagrams and free body diagram so that means we'll be talking about force and a free body diagrams very very much important ladies and gentlemen so already you are aware that we have got a force diagram and we also have free body diagram so you will notice the difference between the two so it's very very much important that you notice the two because uh, i mean the difference between the two because sometimes the question may say draw a force diagram or otherwise they may say a free body diagram you need to be aware of the difference between the two so that you'll be able to directly answer um the question so there will be a time where i ask you guys in terms of what is the cream of the question as we had a little discussion on that on yesterday's lesson where we said the cream of the question is that weight or those weights when removed from a question the whole question will remain senseless or it won't make any sense so for you to notice that we've got what we call a force diagram or free body diagram then you are able to understand the cream of the question and if you know the difference between the two you will know exactly what the question wants you to provide as part of an answer most important ladies and gentlemen um if you know the different types of forces you will never go wrong in terms of formulating um, your Fnet or your resultant force. But most importantly, you must be aware of exactly what is a force. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very much important that when you're still in grade 10 and also in 11, you are aware of what we call um, vectors. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll just do a revision on some of those as we go deeper in today's lesson so guys it doesn't end there what i also want you to be aware of by the end of this unit um is what we call uh, let me quickly see on my notes is a resultant a uh, force so remember guys this weight resultant um uh, it actually refers to one the same thing as net so what resultant or what net it's a net um force so i'm not really sure um uh, what's the name of your school but whichever weight that you use between these two uh, it refers to one and the same thing what matters the most is that for us let's make sure that we just mention both of these ways so that in case a question comes and they mentioned resultant um, you are not confused and again if they use net you're still not confused so remember guys both of these words in short they are talking about a uh, total so that means uh, when we get to this stage we'll be looking at total forces acting on an object of which in a question they may say a resultant force but you know we're talking about total net force you know we're talking about total very very much important ladies and gentlemen so number six what i would also like you guys to learn is newton's first law of motion so newton's um sir um, uh, you're lagging uh, sorry about that guys it could be the issue of network but i'm not really sure is it better now uh, can someone just indicate if um, you're able to clearly hear me when I speak? Yeah, it's better now. Acceleration. Okay. So uh, I think this is the part that I was explaining where I said um, I would like to make sure that 
you fully understand Newton's first law of motion and also how to apply it in this chapter. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we should do a bit of revision on velocity and again, acceleration. So remember for those chapters that you might have done in grade 10, uh, in case if you're in grade 12, um, we'll also do a bit of a revision on those. Again, in case if you're in grade 11, we'll do a bit of revision of, on those. So uh, for the new chapters, that's where we'll go a, a little bit deeper. So let me just check on my notes. Again, we'll also have a look at Newton's second law. Uh, let's see, Newton's second law in terms of acceleration, in terms of um, acceleration. So ladies and gentlemen, that means before we can actually have a look at Newton's second law, we will have to fully understand acceleration and everything in relation to acceleration. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Newton's third law of motion. So Newton's third law of motion. So remember guys, you need to have all of this information so that when we say we are done with this chapter, we can just make some ticks to say, uh, to say yes, we had, we had a discussion about that, we discussed that, we discussed that, we discussed that, but for now, don't worry that much about knowing all of this by heart. Just make your notes over there. Don't worry about understanding anything at this point in time. Because in most cases, what I've realized is that um, you understand better uh, when you're in action. I'll give you um, a very practical example, guys. When I, when I was doing my driver's license, uh, I had to study that K53. So that's what you, 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 you go through before you can get a driver's license. You have to study all of that, study the road signs, uh, the rules and everything. It, it did not make a perfect sense when I was studying or reading uh, that K53 book. Everything made perfect sense when I started with a uh, driving lessons. So, that's when I realized that we've got um, what we call a, a road sign. And again, we've got road markings. So road markings will be the markings which are, uh, you know, drawn on a road. A road a, and then again, road signs will be those which you see uh, on the poles. So all of those guys, they made sense when I started with um, driving lessons. So that's when I would remember to say, to say, oh, this is that type of a rule that I read in the book. And in relation to, um, you know, the interaction or the application of that particular uh, rule on the road, this is how it's being applied. Then you know what happens when you get to a four-way stop sign, a, a circle, it could be a curve, or a T-junction. So for now, just be aware that we have something called T-junction. There's something called a circle on the road. There's something called T-junction. Don't worry that much about what happens uh, when you get to a four-way stop sign. Don't worry that much about what happens when you get to circle, T-junction, or whatever. Just be aware that there's something called a uh, that, that, or that or whatever, which is what I'm trying to explain to you over here to say, just be aware that under this chapter, mechanics, there's what we call vectors, force, different types of forces. We'll be talking about force and free body diagram, resultant or net force, which is a total force. We also have what we call Newton's first law of motion. Um, velocity and acceleration will form part of our lesson. A Newton's second law in terms of um, acceleration. It's also what we'll be looking at. Newton's third law of motion. That's also what we'll be looking at. So it means we've got three a, a laws of Newton's that you should be aware of. And again, um, ladies and gentlemen, Newton's law of universal gravitation. So you can just add that. Newton's 
law of universal um, gravitation gravitation so remember guys in case if you missed something don't worry that much this lesson is being recorded i'm going to post it and i will share the link in the group of which you can use that to catch up so you don't only catch up when you miss the lesson but but again if you feel like the information in that particular lesson is valuable then you can just watch the lesson again so lastly you should be able to identify uh, or distinguish the difference between weight and mass so the difference between a weight and mass very very much important ladies and gentlemen so guys um this is the end of my introduction so now um i'm starting to go a little bit deeper with the lesson for today so would you say all of you guys um had had an idea of what i was trying to explain to you over there yes sir Okay, so um, if that is the case, guys, let's just quickly run through uh, this board. So let's see. So under this chapter, guys, we've got definitions and laws. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. So that means all of this force, gravitational force, um, normal force, resultant force or net force newton's first law of motion newton's 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 uh, all of the newton's laws so this falls under definitions and laws so you need to be aware of all of this information i'm just not sure if i send this in the group guys can someone just indicate to me if i've sent all of this um in the group did i did i send it so. Okay. So. Okay. I suppose that was a yes. So let me just remove all of these, and then from there, uh, what I want to do, I think I'll just have to erase that information because it's sent in the group. So. Let me quickly see. I'm just looking for my cloth here. I'm not really sure. Uh, just hold on, guys. I need something quickly. No, sir. You didn't send it. Hey, I can hear you properly. I think it's the network. Uh, okay, no, no. Uh, I I muted my mic uh, for a moment. I was looking for for my cloth uh, to just wipe everything here. So uh, now my mic is unmuted because you say it. All of these, it's um, it's sent in the group. So I want to use this board to explain uh, what I'll be writing. So, okay guys, so everything is in order now. You are able to hear me and again, um, you can see there on the board, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, 100%. So, um, let's quickly, quickly, uh, do a bit of revision on a uh, revision on vector just a quick one remember guys same applies here no need to know everything by heart just be aware of everything so it 
there will be a time where it is supposed to make sense and i'm going to remind you when we get to that part so for now if you're writing you can just write whatever that you can so remember we're just doing a revision what are we revising what we call a vector so what is a vector ladies and gentlemen a vector is a quantity with magnitude and direction so it's quantity with magnitude and direction very very much important ladies and gentlemen so this weight is normally being used uh, in physical sciences in most cases a magnitude it simply refers to a size guys so um a, when we talk about a vector quantity is that quantity that has magnitude or that has size or that has a value and a direction for example i know very well that you know that a force it's a vector quantity so that means a force can be let's say 20 guys a uh, for this thing to be a force we have to write the unit for that particular force what is the unit for force Newton. newtons newtons 100 percent. so at all times ladies and gentlemen make sure that um a force that you write um you also write the unit so 20 newton guys is what we call a magnitude this thing it's a magnitude ladies and gentlemen uh, what is the synonym for magnitude is size very very much important ladies and gentlemen in short we are actually talking about the value of the force guys remember a uh, this is a force but that space over there is reserved for the type of the force for example this could be applied force it could be frictional force it could be tension it could be whatever type of a force ladies and gentlemen so just be aware at all times that a, a force could be fa which is what a force applied it could be a what is it force of friction so you write a capital letter then from there a, a whatever the type of a force is so just be aware of that part ladies and gentlemen so now that I, now that we have explained um what is a magnitude what is meant by magnitude size or value let's now get to this part of direction remember ladies and gentlemen um in terms of direction a force can be applied a uh, ladies and gentlemen in an upward direction in a downwards direction to the right or to the left very very much important ladies and gentlemen that is why sometimes you are given this type of a thing which looks almost the same as um what is it guys a, a cartesian plane so that means normally it could be upwards um otherwise they can say in the northward uh, direction ladies and gentlemen it could be downward so remember this is something that you can also write as part of your notes to say in physical sciences they can use upwards or northwards you just need to know that the opposite of these two is downwards or otherwise a uh, southwards ladies and gentlemen it could be eastwards or westwards so instead of them saying eastwards what else can they say and again instead of saying westwards what else can they say ladies and gentlemen anyone to guess left or right 100 percent right or left or left or right so just be aware that um, we can also represent the direction using any of those so i hope at this point in time everyone is happy with that definition uh, or explanation of a vector most important ladies and gentlemen in some textbooks uh, this is how they represent um a vector so for example if it's a force they're going to say a capital letter force and then use that arrow so this is the arrow that tells 
if the quantity is a vector. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. But now, if there might be a vector quantity, ladies and gentlemen, which has both magnitude and direction, what about those vectors which only have a um, magnitude? What are those um, called, ladies and gentlemen? Anyone who wants to guess? Scalar. Scalar, scala, uh, whatever, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, scalar quantities. So, can you see, guys, that means we are actually talking about types of quantities, which means we have two types of quantities. So we have two types of quantities. What are those, ladies and gentlemen? We've got a, let's say we've got a, okay, let's just start with one and say we've got vector a quantity which has both magnitude and a direction. So you just need to be aware that we've got synonyms for a magnitude or other ways referring to the same thing. And again, we've got scalar or scalar um, a quantities which only has magnitude. So ladies and gentlemen, it means both of these quantities must have a um, magnitude uh, and a vector will have a direction addition in addition to the magnitude or the size of the or the value, but scalar quantities will only have a magnitude. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone to give another type of um a vector quantity guys is there an example of a vector quantity yes acceleration sir. so a if we've got acceleration, then we can represent it like that to say this is an additional uh, a quantity uh, which has a type of, what is it? It's a vector. She says it's a vector quantity. So let me just quickly, quickly, quickly explain uh, something, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we normally have what we call... I say uh, momentum is a vector quantity. Displacement, hundred percent. So also momentum velocity. Also, it's a, it's a, it's a vector quantity. Also velocity. It's a vector quantity. Uh, someone said acceleration. It's also a vector quantity. So can you see, for all the vector quantities, this is what I write uh, at the top. So remember, guys. So remember, guys. Uh, I'm going to find those summarized notes and send them in the group which um, indicates all the vector quantities and the scalar quantities so that you are aware of which one is a vector, which one is a scalar. So remember, guys, we have what we call displacement or distance, which might be referring to almost the same thing, just like, for example, velocity or speed. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. So this one, it's um, a vector quantity um, and then the distance is so we can't hear you properly mm -hmm.
हेलो हेलो गाइस मिस्टर सेवाती में चिकोट आ Wait, what? What's going on? It's probably load shedding or network problems. Is the lesson still gonna continue? We don't know. We have to wait for sir. I don't know. Guys, define normal force once. It's a force exerted by a flat surface in which it is in contact well, that is with. That is particular to the surface. Frictional force. The force opposing the motion. Uh, what is one plus one? Twenty-two. Yeah. Probably eleven. Nah, I think it's fourteen. Guys, I really want help on read the bulletin. Okay, we say Roman to the chat. Guys, anyone can you speak, please? Wait, can you repeat that? You're literally Bella, if... speaking and then can't hear you. Uh... I'm teaching you to play the data cards. I'm just watching alone. I'm not able to get to the school and move on. Like, yeah.
palm fit. How do define the kinetic frictional force? Lab? Kinetic friction of force is what I should be just with the group of units. What's going on? Because you want to share the screen. It's coming with the camera. I've been into the left side into one thing. Uh, sorry, guys. Who say is wait is who say here? Oh, cause I don't see anything. Am I the only one, or is it everybody? Nope. Somewhere he right left. There. He's not here. And then I go in box to offline. Shoot it out and pay the level. Can't pay. So I'm going to Okay, yeah, guys. Hey, as cool many Africans, you can show up on Twilin. So, I'm going to tell you the calculator is going to be in the sauna in the page. You know, calculator is going to choose the number. It can be kind of like a trick question. If you choose one or 3,000 or something. I don't know if so. So, times I'm on Twitter, sometimes I'm on Twitter, sometimes I'm on Twitter, sometimes I'm on Twitter. This young girl must be going to the law. Hey, to teen. Hey. Yes, I'm going to go lab. It's in Kuluwa. As if no one is going to pay me, I pay the lady. Like, you need to go lab. Choose the number. It can be kind of like if I calculate it. Ne, best one times zero and one twelve. Two times one twelve. Two times one twelve. Three times one times one twelve. Four times three. Best two times two. It can ne ne. Best one. Um, guys, I'm going to buzz. I'm going to. Let's see if you can tell us. The sakala or cut the t-shirt. Avec tanaguma. Whatever. Chung, time sang about 12 for buying a gig. Who times 12? Who times 12? Who times 12? About 3. A kine times 2. Times 2. So, get it. I need to tell you the answer. Good answer, Yako. Divide the number number there. Or you choose the lay way in your own. Call them for you, one thing they told us correct. To divide that. I sit in general, so I sit like in Beggy Slam to 25. Who times 12? Who times 12? Who times 12? Who times 2? Ne? 
Waka da tola leo anja ni suti vaita ngalu 25 for a klabo. Mara wenzo ti vaita ngalu namba yako ekete. After la abesi yang linda. Mena nzo kuchere anja la peka kule iti. Okay. Yes, over to. Manje, what's the learning, sister? How? I got the other foot of Paul. I love it. Look at the Let's go. Okay, and the medieval is 3,456. If I end, I won't get into it. She's wrong. I got the same answer as you got. Yeah, 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 fun. Guys, I'm clever. Ha, I'm clever. I'm clever. I'm clever. I'm clever. Oh, you're using magic. No, it can't be. It's really good to you. Guys, okay. Melani. Okay. Uh, Melani, yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, my new guys in Dunjan. Choose and choose a name in the name. Ninja choose it. Can you slow? Slow and guard, not. So, I want to cool my chosen daughter from this medzilla house. Tando, I guess. Uh, hello, young user. Yeah, I just send it, send up here to calculate. No, I mean, I'm your poor, my like, I'm for no booze or something first. Booze, sister. Yeah, so how long does the tutorial take? Gotcha, gotcha. Pinda. How long does the tutorial take? If we say okay, like me, I can look here, so I'm gonna understand. I go to camera and join. Hey, not to say finally, I'm not gonna get loot. You know, see, because in town, I'm not gonna go to camera and join. I'm 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 gonna go to camera and join. We can't even see anything. This is not better, Kulu, man. So I told him to look at my lacco. Like, only she's long as she is. Mana, Tando, are you new to the group?
Guys, t shirt and subway. I'll sleep in my bed Sunday man. Because I. Guys, hello, boys. Boys. Send this for boys. Um, Conan again. I won't. And I'm saying, you nominate me. Keeping from the start of the lesson. Um, So tell you to send the calls. Me na bengsu shay netwe kang wazang join. I'm impulsive too, cause I'm born la. I'm the one who should have lived it. Hello, Pindeli. Network here on Super so we are cut and all. Like the little inbox, cause I'm too liable. Those of us who send their little. Okay. All right, I'm thinking. Sorry, Andile or anyone. Um, do those physics lesson ep- happen every day, or it's only for Wednesday only? Hey, no man has as part in this job. I think I'm a cool limit. I'm not even challenge you attend physics. Maths. Okay, maths. Do they happen every day, or it's only on certain days? I'll pin the foot on Zara. Do you attend maths every day or there are certain days that you attend? every day. Thank you.
Ela se sente só triga, não sou lá lá rato. Ah, vou pôr o meu espo. Ah, se não não gasta nada ali. Já me deixa eu ir a boia. Ah, 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 ah. Se sente só triga. Ah, 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 ah. Só tá indo lá rato. Good night, guys. Oi, Andy. Ah. Oi, Andy. Determination DK Hello, the time.